Big projects take teamwork, and every project manager knows collaboration is the fuel that gets project across the finish line faster. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll walk you through how to build a basic Gantt chart in Google Sheets from the ground up using the steps listed on screen. Let's get started. Start with a blank sheet and create columns for task name, start date, end date, start on day, and duration. Then, fill out those columns with the basic details for your project tasks and milestones. Once all the tasks and milestones are added, format the task name column as text, the start date and end date columns as a date, and the start on day and duration columns as a number. Next, we'll use a formula to determine the interval between the first task start date and each subsequent task in your project. If you started in different cells in your worksheet, be sure to adjust each formula accordingly. Google Sheets should prompt you to autofill the rest of the start on day column. Click the green check mark icon to apply this formula to the remaining cells in column D. Next, let's add a formula that subtracts the start date from the end date in the duration column. That way your worksheet will automatically calculate the length of each task in your Gantt chart. Enter C2 minus B2 into the duration field for the first task. Google Sheets should prompt you again to autofill the rest of the duration column. Click the green check mark icon to apply this formula to the remaining cells in column E. Now highlight all the completed cells in columns A, D, and E to select the data to populate the Gantt chart. Click Insert Chart and choose Stacked Bar Chart from the Bar section to add a chart to your Google Sheets worksheet. Double-click the Chart Title text box to select the full title and enter the name of your project to replace the placeholder text. You can also update the chart title in the Chart Editor settings under Chart and Access Titles. Next, format the stacked bar chart in your worksheet to look like a Gantt chart by removing the fill color from the first portion of each bar. Click on the Start on Day portion of any bar in your chart to select the entire data series. In this example, the data series is represented by blue bars. Then click the Fill Color menu in your series settings and select White to remove the blue bars that precede your task start dates. Now open the Legend menu from the Customize tab on your Chart Editor settings and choose None from the Position menu. Next, adjust the labels on each axis of your Google Sheets Gantt chart to keep it clean and easy to read. Open the Chart and Axis Titles menu from the Customize tab in your Chart Editor settings and select Horizontal Axis Title and enter Day of the Month in the Title text field. Then select Vertical Axis Title and delete Task Name to blank out the Title text field. Right now, the Gantt chart displays a timeline in 20-day intervals. Let's change that to 7 days so we can see project tasks laid out in a weekly view. Open the Grid Lines and Ticks menu from the Customize tab in your Chart Editor settings and enter 7 in the Major Step field. Finally, give your Google Sheets Gantt chart a custom look by applying your favorite colors to the taskbars. Click on a single taskbar twice, but don't double-click it. Click it once to highlight all the bars in that color, then click it again to highlight a single bar. Click the Fill Color menu in the settings and choose the color you want from the palette options. Repeat this process to change the colors of the rest of the taskbars in your newly made Google Sheets Gantt chart. It's a good idea to color milestones yellow or gold so they stand out easily from other tasks. And that's it! You've created your very own Gantt chart in Google Sheets. Feel free to customize it even more to fit your project needs. Building a Google Sheets Gantt chart from scratch was probably more steps than you anticipated especially if you have to do that every time you make a timeline for a project. That's why we created an automated template to help you save time and effort. Download our dynamic Google Sheets Gantt chart template to get started. We've done all the heavy lifting for you. Click the link in the description to download it. That's it for this video on creating a Gantt chart in Google Sheets from scratch. I hope it helped you out. If it did, I'd love it if you could return the favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.